Well, good morning, and um, you know, thanks, Bill. Appreciate all you uh, attending this conference, 33rd annual hurricane conference. Um, you know, for a while there, we had not had a lot of hurricanes. Um, you know, I grew up in Florida; it was kind of a part of life. And then, um, I think for about a 10-year period, we didn't have any. Uh, I was representing at the 2016 on the east coast of Florida, which was the most that was impacted by Hurricane Matthew. And as we were working with people to prepare, uh, we figured out that, I mean, there were a whole bunch of people in Florida who had moved into Florida since the last hurricane and really had not experienced it. Um, and so you never want these things to happen. But I, I will say, having done the 16, 17, and 18, um, I think certainly at the Florida Department of Emergency Management, I know a lot of our, our local um, emergency managers, you know, we're, we're much more experienced now. Uh, hopefully we won't need to use that experience this summer. Uh, but I think that if you look at what Florida's had to deal with, you know, th these have been some pretty significant events, particularly uh, Hurricane Irma and, and then Hurricane Michael. And when I got into office, you know, the first uh, full day in office, uh, Jared Moskowitz, who's our uh, director of emergency management, is doing a great job. He and I went to uh, Northwest Florida. And I had been there in October after the storm had hit. We were we delivered a lot of relief supplies and, and we did some stuff. And then I was back uh, during the transition. But this was the first time you know, I was actually governor. Um, and when you looked and uh, saw just the amount of damage uh, that had been done, um, Hurricane Irma, as many of you know, affected almost the entire state. And uh, it ended up, I think it was like 2.5 million cubic square yards of debris, um, which is a lot. Uh, but that's, you know, for most of the state. Well, just Hurricane Michael, which was, you know, just a handful of counties, uh, there was 25 million cubic square yards of debris, so 10 times as much uh, for this. And, of course, it was a Category 5 storm. So you would go to some of these uh, little small municipalities like Mexico Beach, and they have like a $3 million annual budget, and they have $90 million for debris removal alone. Uh, so that was something that was uh, just simply uh, not feasible for, for a lot of those communities to do. So uh, we went in, we saw kind of, okay, you know, here's some of the problems, here's what the state can do better, uh, here's where we need help, and so we acted. One of the things we did was um, speed up the process at the state level to be able to get relief out on the street. Uh, that had been uh, tied up, uh, and a lot of people were complaining about that, and I told Jared, I was like, look, we just have to, to move on this. So, so that is being done more efficiently, and I think we've put um, a significant amount of money um, you know, on the street, uh, both through DEM, uh, our DEO, and, and, and associated agencies. Um, and, and so that was important, but we also were looking at this um, there was no way that these local communities were going to be able to, to do all this. Uh, so I went to Washington and, and met with the president, and I said, look, we need your help here. And uh, to his credit, you know, he did respond, and we had been granted five days uh, for Hurricane Michael where the federal government would do 100 percent reimbursement, um, which was good, um, but, you know, we wanted more than that. So I, I asked Mr. I asked the president, I said, you know, we need more than that. Um, you know, my request is 45 days of 100 percent reimbursement for Northwest Florida. And um, nobody in the administration wanted to do 45 day 100 percent reimbursement except the president. And so we, um, you know, he agreed to do that. And um, I explained to him why it was important because of the severity of the storm, because of the way the communities were affected. And, um, and so that was a, a, a real um, big deal to be able to, to get that. Um, but, you know, when these things happen, uh, uh, he said, go and tell everyone I said you were going to do it. Well, the White House staff did not like that, so we announced it, had a big press conference and everything. And then after like a couple weeks, people were, you know, from North to sort of like, Governor, you know, we haven't really heard anything from FEMA. I was like, trust me, I'm sure the president said it. But basically, I think that they were dragging their feet, you know, at the lower levels because they didn't necessarily want to do it. Um, and so finally, like six weeks later, I was scheduled, and the White House staff knew this, I was going to have uh, uh, meet with the president. And so two hours before our meeting, on a Saturday, a letter comes out, 45 days approved to that. And so we got that done, uh, which was very, very significant. Um, but 
you know, this debris is going on, the cleanup is, is uh, kind of nonstop. So that 45 days is a big deal, but it's taking a lot longer than 45 days. And so uh, I had asked recently the president to uh, do what a president can do is uh, increase the cost share for everything beyond that uh, for 90 percent federal cost share. And I'm happy to report last week he came to Panama City Beach and announced that, that they would do the 90 percent uh, reimbursement for Hurricane Michael um, in the panhandle. And basically we, we had resistance to that as well. And a lot of times it's not that they people don't want to be helpful, but it's like, okay, if I give Florida this, then everyone else calls, all the other governors call and say, hey, we want this, we want this. And, you know, I wasn't asked to be treated specially, but, you know, my view was, okay, if there's another Category 5 storm that hits, then do the same thing for them. But don't act like, you know, some relatively run-of-the-mill disaster is equivalent to a, a storm that we've not seen since Hurricane Andrew here in Florida. And I think the president uh, got that, and I think that that was something that, um, uh, that that's going to end up being very very, uh, very good. Um, and so we are um, teed up to obviously have help there. We've also done stuff with what we already have um, through Jared's leadership. Uh, the Department of Emergency Management here in Florida has paid out $142 million to cities and counties um, that were affected by Hurricane Michael uh, just last week. Um, uh, we in the state got 50 trailers for FEMA that we donated to Bay County. They continue to have problems uh, with housing. Um, and then we also had a significant amount of money uh, in the budget this year uh, for hurricane recovery. Uh, and so I think that that's something that's very significant. Um, we also created a Hurricane Michael Recovery Grant Program with $25 million in funding. And we passed um, HB 7123, uh, which has, which I'm going to sign here in front of everybody, uh, but it has seven-day disaster supply tax holiday, tax relief for repair and recovery, and tax relief for fuel purchases. And so as we go into a new hurricane season, you know, that is going to be important. Uh, but there's still more to do. And so today I'm, I'm pleased to make uh, two uh, more announcements. Uh, the first announcement is I'm activating the Small Business Emergency Loan Program for the many field crop farmers affected by Hurricane Michael. There will be $25 million available to these farmers to insist them uh, as we enter the growing season. And second, I'm announcing that pursuant to my emergency powers, I'm authorizing Jared Moskowitz to waive all statutes that interfere with the ability of local governments affected by Hurricane Michael to utilize FEMA's 528 program, which is a program that offers cash advances to local governments to rebuild schools, government buildings, and other public and nonprofit owned facilities. And so uh, we're acting. So we're acting and doing that. And that's, look, it's a lot of work um, on the back end, um, and that's important. But um, you know, we also need to recognize, and many of you obviously are involved in working on the front end, so make sure that people are prepared. Uh, we are starting hurricane season here in a couple weeks, um, and I think it's important that we all spread the message to make sure that, that our citizens have a plan, uh, that are prepared. You know, We have floridadisaster.org backslash get a plan uh, that has um, a number of great things where people can look. Um, we also, you know, will want people to take advantage of the sales tax holiday. So um, I think that people throughout the state are uh, more battle tested now, uh, which we didn't want the storms, but that is a good thing looking forward that we're going to be prepared um, and have some experience. On the other hand, you know, I think we could use a, a break uh, for this uh, for, for, for this site this summer. So I'm hoping that, um, you know, that we have a very quiet and, and uneventful uh, hurricane season. Uh, but, you know, if not, you know, obviously we're all going to be all hands on deck to make sure that we're protecting uh, the folks uh, of Florida. So 
I want to thank you guys, um, you know, for for what you're what, what you're doing. Um, I've been involved. Um, you know, we had Matthew, where a lot of the counties in my district were affected. Irma affected almost everywhere in the state, including my district when I was um, in Congress. And then Michael is something that we've worked very hard on uh, in my administration since January, you know, to help uh, help the recovery there. And um, you know, those folks, I think, uh, you know, if that hurricane had hit in a bigger city, probably would have had more media coverage. And so it was kind of like a story, then people moved on. And so I thought it was important that, that, that folks know that at least in the, for, for the governor's office, we're not moving on. We understand that there's a lot to do. So we've done a lot. We're going to do a lot more. Um, well, I'm going to sign this bill, HB 7123, that has the, that has the tax holiday. Um, so I'll go over and do that now. And I think we're going to have some folks come up uh, uh, with us. Uh, and I'll hand out some of these pens. So how, who wants a pen? Who wants a pen? How many people want a pen? Take one. You want one? Okay. All right. And what's today's date? 15th? Okay. All right. There you go. All right, it's done. Thank you.